Joining us today on the broadcast is Dr. Chell Roberts, Dean of University of San Diego, U.S. Mr. Chell is on a special trip to India to participate in the vibrant Gujarat Summit being held in Gandhinagar and would sign the MOU with IIT Gandhinagar and other prominent universities to set up the university campus in the gift city Gandhinagar. This is in line with the National Education Policy 2020, which aims to enhance the international dimension of higher education in India. Dr. Shell, thank you so much uh, for uh, being with us. Uh, you know, my first question to you would be, you're going to be signing an MOU. Uh, what is the plan of action going to be after this now? After Vibrant? Well, well, first, we're so excited about Vibrant because we are going down with the Minister of Education and we get to sign an MOU about our next steps with Gift City and how we're going to start to move in with, with branch campus activities, what we'll be doing. And it's step by step. We're new to India. This is brand new, and so we're, we're taking it a little bit slowly to make sure we do it right. Hmm. We want people to know that we care about education, that we are deeply involved in quality education, and we're not here just about numbers of people. We're here about making the difference in their life that I was speaking about. Hmm. So when you do that, it's not just the signing we have in Vibrant with, with Minister of Education. Signing with a university, we'll be signing with IIT um, in in uh, Ahmedabad and we're signing that agreement so we can partner with one of the quality universities here on some of our programs. Other universities also where we anticipate doing dual degrees where some of it will be taught here, some will have the option of studying doing half and half in the US, hmm. half here or all here. It depends on what how they would like to do their degrees hmm. but with these partnerships with these great universities um, we'll also do online, which is new for India. We, we have a history of some of the most highly successful um, online programs in the United States because we're very small, we don't do it in mass, we have very good professionals developing. So we're going we're gonna to give a variety of options. So is it, is it a small target audience you're going to have? Uh, uh, or uh, how is it going to provide... Uh, uh, benefits to a large number of students uh, here in India? Well, we have several strategies. One is, through our online programs, we can have more students here in India. Through our hybrid programs that are here on ground, we can mm. have more students in India. And the cost factor of those programs is lower. So it, it provides access to different groups of students. If one were to choose our fully on ground options in the United States, which we'll have, that's also a great option that provides benefits, but that will be a, a, probably a smaller set of the options. So immersion programs, hybrid programs, certificate programs, online options, our plan is to do the whole rainbow, if you will, of mm -hmm. all of the colors of education, all at the highest quality to make a huge difference in the lives well, of people. One th thing, you know, one question that comes to my mind here is that why would you choose Gift City Gandhinagar uh, as as the location? Why only Gujarat? Uh, well, eventually we could expand to other places. We had to choose a first place, a, a first place, hmm. and it was very hard because we came. We started here in Delhi, and Delhi looked like a very good place, and we love Delhi. Though Delhi is somewhat crowded, there are many universities that are trying to be here in Delhi. Um, so we said, why don't we explore starting in some place where there aren't as many universities? Southern, in Southern India and Surat and Gujarat had fewer people competing in that area. Plus, we knew a number of the universities. We had relationships. We have a team on the uh, ground there of, of people we've known in India that have helped us in, in business ventures. Hmm. And so it was a little easier to start there with an office, with an experience center, and to put something up. Now, I'm going to imagine. I'm going to imagine that we will be very successful, and we'll do it in more places than in Gujarat. I would also like to know from you about the programs and the curriculum. You've also said that they are going to be hybrid programs as well. Although in the starting you are only going to have online programs, what kind of programs are uh, uh, going to be available to the students here? Starting in April, we will offer online artificial intelligence, data science, um, cybersecurity, 
Now the reason that they're not on ground yet is it takes longer to do those. We already had the online established and we already had partners here who could help us develop and market in the online space. So it was much easier for us to begin with those online courses, which, which by the way has a price point that's lower. But that same curriculum will build into the hybrid and we're hoping we'll be able to start that later this year. So a student in that online format can choose to say, I want to come in for a class mm. or I want to come in for a part of the program to our experience center and do that. And right now that would be a many bot. So that would be this year. And then we want to provide the opportunity for starting a program and going to the United States. For the reason we're not doing that quite yet is, is two reasons. One, not having done this in India before, we think it makes sense to take a first piece and do it well and not try to start really big because big is not necessarily the goal. I think, mm. I think it will be big, but quality is the goal. Mm. So we'll start with a smaller number, make sure that it works this semester, and then the next semester we'll probably grow that, and the next semester we will be recruiting to on-ground in the U.S. so that, that they can either do hybrid or full here, they can do full here, full there, or hybrid in between. So, yeah, so would it then uh, properly and completely align with the NEP 2020? That's, that's our goal. The course, of course, has to be at par with the courses and the curriculum that you're providing in your main same, campus. Same curriculum. We will offer exactly the same curriculum. Um, currently, the online is taught by exactly the same professors. Um, we record them. They monitor it. We are hiring some faculty here in India to help us teach the courses. So we've got master professors that create the course and then we vet and work with the instructor here. So they'll be hearing from a US professor and working with an Indian professor when they do the online piece. And in hybrid we'll also be hiring some people here and train them in how we do things. So it'll be a mix of US professors and Indian professors that provide this. Hmm. Um, and, and we'll work as fast as we can to align with the with the standards of India to make this work. Okay. Would you also, uh, I mean, uh, I would first of all like to ask you, have you been in India before? I'm sure, I think this is not your first experience, but it's how, not. It, it's not, you've said. Yep. So how has uh, your experience been? I mean, you've had a lot of students, Indian students in your university, of course, but in India, how has your experience been? And uh, specifically now that you've chosen Gujarat, Gift City as your first location, of course, you're saying that you're going to diversify, you're going to go to other locations as well. But uh, tell us more about India and your experience first. I absolutely love India. And let me tell you some of the reasons that I do. Um, some of the things we do are entrepreneurial. Many of our students get opportunities to start their own companies. So we give those as part of our curriculum, those startup features, those startup opportunities. When you're starting something new, a company or education like I do, you have to have a certain mindset that is a mindset of seeing opportunity and seeing the good in things mm. and the possibility of things. So, when I come to India, this is, this is my fourth trip to India, mm. and I'm going to guess this year I'm going to be here four more times. Okay. But um, what I see when I walk down a street in India, I see this bubble mm. of excitement. Mm. It's the bubble of that opportunity. So when I look on a corner, there may be somebody who's homeless, but you know what they're doing? They're trying to create something. Hmm. So there's this spirit of, I'm going to create, I'm going to sell something. And then I look over here and there's a shop, and it's a small shop, and it hasn't gone very far, but they're trying really hard, and they're, it's a bubble. Hmm. So things aren't, you don't look around and see people sitting and depressed. Hmm. You look around and see people bubbling. And then I go to a mall, and I see all of these people that have succeeded and are in a middle class of India and have a fair amount of money and are buying and they're consuming, but they're also talking about the future and where they want to go. Right. Every time I talk with a, with a person, hmm. they're talking about what they want to do. So, so here in India, I think certainly it's opportunity because there are so many people 
here and there will be well uh, things of course are problems. progressing at a faster pace uh, would you say a uh, lot of people not just here in india but global leaders have also been uh, you know uh, giving the uh, you know praising prime minister modi and giving the credit to prime minister modi what would you say about uh, uh, you know india under prime minister modi's leadership well it certainly has attracted our attention and it's attracted our attention because it seems very progressive and it seems inviting you know there's sometimes where there are prime ministers or presidents from countries that don't seem inviting and we've all had those experiences mm. in, in life mm. but right now your prime minister your government seems inviting and very inviting with education for the right types of education if if you can come and do quality education and change people's lives that's what they want and so they invite you they're right. trying to make it easier and we're seeing that they're trying to make it easier and it was just what it was a year ago or a year and a half ago where we started to see that happen and we said the time's now hmm. and that's why I'm here to make that difference time is now and the future is of course you know as many would say uh is uh, yet to be seen of course but uh, it uh, starts from here the first step has been taken by you and we do hope you make uh, good progress and not just in gujarat uh, but uh, other locations also we are hoping that we get to see your university campuses being set up thank you so much uh, dr chell for being with us here and uh, sharing your thoughts oh, thank thank you kitty i'm so excited to be here and thank you all we're going to do it and we're going to do it great and I, and i think we're going to have great partners here thank you thank you so much